Hello everybody, today we'll go through a tutorial about FastText, which is an open source library created by Facebook research team for learning word representation and sentence classification. So FastText is an open source library, and in this tutorial we'll go through the steps to install FastText, and hopefully guys by the end of this tutorial you'll be able to use it. And uh, yeah, we'll go through some of the bugs, some of the difficulties you may encounter while uh, using it or while installing it. And some of the dependencies we need to install before being able to manipulate fast text. So yeah, so let's get started. Uh, fast text is also a pre-trained model. So you can actually uh, even give it your own uh, set of data. We'll go through this uh, tutorial. By the way, you can also check it online. So just go type in Google Fast Text, and uh, maybe this uh, page will pop up first. FastText.cc. Uh, right. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you need to do is to download the virtual environment. Uh, you might ask why. We can just use uh, Windows command line, but actually FastText uh, works in Linux and uh, it's still updating for Windows. Uh, I've read it somewhere in some blogs. So that's one of the reasons. I even tried it out on Windows and it seems like it's uh, more efficient, more uh, easy to use, easier, sorry, easier to use it on uh, Linux. So the first thing you need to do if you're not using a Ubuntu uh, command line is to download it. So go into Microsoft Store and type in the search engine uh, Ubuntu and hopefully you will get this, uh, uh, this app or this uh, uh, software you need to download. So in my case, I've already downloaded it. I will launch it, all right. Yeah, so the first thing you need to do is to install pip. And you need to run this command in your Ubuntu command line. So like this. And hopefully you'll get uh, some uh, good messages good uh, feedback all right and second thing you need to do is to install uh, Scython so pip install Scython and finally you need to install FastText pip install FastText so I took some screenshot of my results and you should get something like this so pip install Scython it will be downloading the packages and then installing it. Hopefully you get successfully installed Scython. Then pip install fasttext. Go through these uh, steps. And then installing collected packages is successfully installed. And uh, you also, if you want to use Jupyter, yeah, you need to install it too. Again, if it is the, the first time you're using Ubuntu, you need to go through uh, these steps. So yeah, pip3 install Jupyter and hopefully you will get something like this too. So I've already done it in my case, that's why I took these screenshots. So yeah, and you will get a local URL and the HTTP address. So you need to go to that uh, command, I mean to that URL. Uh, copy and paste it on your uh, browser. All right. All right, now is the final step of installing our virtual environment. And to do that, we need to run this command. pip3 install virtual env. It will be the same collecting the packages and installing them successfully installed yeah so yeah 
hopefully you guys don't find any problems. So, and in order to go to our virtual environment, we go to the uh, Ubuntu command line and we run source. Uh, then we need to type in v e n v slash bin slash activate. Yeah. So if you get this V N V between parentheses, seems uh, I mean it means that you are in the virtual environment. And now we can run our uh, Jupyter notebook. Jupyter notebook. Uh, 